three, two, one. What's up guys, David Moss Jr. here in the Ice Barrel 300, fully insulated. And today in this video, we are going to be going through how to hook up a chiller to the brand new Ice Barrel 300. This is a DIY project. Let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about what we're gonna need. The first thing you're gonna need is the Ice Barrel 300. This is fully insulated. It does come with two ports on the side that are chiller ready. These ports, when you take the plugs out, so the top, you're gonna take the plug off, the bottom, you're gonna unscrew the spigot. The, the holes themselves are threaded three quarter inch. So you need to make sure that you note that these are threaded three quarter inch, both of these. So today I'm gonna to be using the Active Aqua one horsepower chiller. This chiller does require one inch tubing, so that's the tubing we're gonna be using. So everything you're gonna see in this video is going to be using a one horsepower Active Aqua chiller and one inch tubing for everything. All the adapters and everything that you're gonna need if you wanna follow along will be in the description below. I'll put a kit together for you to make it super, super easy. But this is gonna be one of the easiest DIYs and I'm super excited to get this thing running. If you do decide to go with a smaller Active Aqua chiller, I believe most of them, well, the half horsepower for sure, you can also use one inch tubing, so everything would be the same. If you go anything smaller than that, you might have to go with a smaller tubing, so just make sure that you take note. If you go with a smaller chiller, you might need to go with a smaller tubing, meaning some of these pieces are gonna to need to be smaller as well. But we'll get into that in a second. My little buddy Wyatt over here has been helping me. So other than your tubing and your chiller, you're gonna need a pump. Because this is gonna be outside, it's gonna be considered an inline pump. This is a submersible pump. It's the Active Aqua pump I like to recommend. If you pop the front cover off and you unscrew the tip here that controls the water pressure, there's two pieces that it comes with that you can actually make this an inline. <laughs> you can make it an inline pump, which is great. Go get it, buddy. You do a great job. Thanks for helping me. Thank you, bro. You're the man. <laughs> so all you do is you put these two one inch tube adapters and now, <laughs> thanks bud, and now it's an inline pump. So we're gonna set that off to the side. So now we have our pump set up as an inline pump. Here's a few of the other pieces we're gonna need. Why can I borrow that real quick bud? So this is a strainer. I went with a one inch strainer just to keep everything simple, really maximize the water flow, which is another really cool way to keep the water clean. There's a few adapters we're gonna need. You got that for me? You're the man. This right here is going to be our one inch hose adapter that's gonna come off the end of our strainer here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that on there. And you wanna make sure you look at the top there where there's the arrow pointing. That's gonna tell you which way the water is flowing. So you want the water going in here and out there. So we're gonna screw this on. You can hand tighten it. You can use a wrench if you want to. But this right here is gonna be on the outside of the barrel and this is where the water is gonna go. Now. The other side of the barrel, we're gonna to have to use an adapter like this. So it is three quarter inch. I'm gonna show you close up on how all this works, but this is a three quarter inch to a one inch, I wanna say female, and then this is a threaded one inch tube. So this is what we're gonna use on the top side of the barrel where the water's gonna come back in. So that's our little adapter setup right there. We're also gonna need six hose clamps to keep the one inch tubing clamped. And I always recommend using a GFCI outlet. Now let's get to the build. All right, so step number one, we are going to unscrew the plugs on both of the ports from the Ice Barrel 300. You do not want to lose these. You want to keep these for sure. <laughs> you do not want to lose those. So you're going to set your spigot and your plug off to the side. That's step number one, done. Okay, step number two, we're going to want to take this adapter here. This is going to take the three quarter inch thread from the top of the barrel and give us a one inch hole. You can hand tighten this in there. So now that we have that adapter on hand tighten, we're gonna take our one inch tip. This is gonna be a barb tip, and this is where the hose is going to actually connect to the top. Your belly hurts, and we're gonna screw this in the top here. One thing a lot of people seem to like about my channel is I always have my kids involved. It's just me and Wyatt right now. The girls are at cheer, so that's my little buddy. He's gonna be helping me out. So this is step number two. We should have the top hole looking just like this, ready to accept the hose. All right, step number three, we're gonna be working at the bottom port. We're gonna take that same similar adapter that we've got. It's gonna take a three quarter inch thread to a one inch thread. And we're gonna screw that into the bottom there. This is where it's nice to have a, a wrench. All right, now that that's on there, this is where we're gonna attach our strainer. Now make sure that the arrow is pointing away from the barrel. And we're gonna screw this on. And put it like that. 
Now that's what the bottom should look like. Now on the other side of the strainer, we're gonna use that same one inch barb that we used up top here. And we are gonna screw that in too. And that is what step number three should look like when it's complete. All right, the next step is gonna be connecting your inline pump to your strainer. So you wanna make sure that you have enough tube, and this is probably just barely gonna be enough. You wanna have enough tube to where, what my goal is, is I want it to have like a little bit of a twist to keep the flow going. So I'm gonna cut the tube about right here, give myself about, I don't know, about two and a half feet. You don't have to be super precise. What we're gonna to wanna to do here is get our o-rings hey Wyatt can you hand me one of those o-rings bud what's your plan with thanks buddy put both these on here this is a grocery store yeah. mm -hmm. you're the best helper so we got both of our o-rings on now let's connect them so once you have it on it should look just like this I just tipped it over on its side made it a little bit easier to get that hose on the next thing we're gonna do is take our inline pump, the tip here, and connect it to that hose. All right, so this is what we should be looking like at this point. I've got all my connectors going through my strainer. The water's gonna get sucked through this beautiful loop-de-loop -loop into my inline pump, and then I'm about to connect a hose from there into our chiller, and then we're gonna connect our hose from our chiller going back into our ice barrel, and we will be cooking with gas. Oof, you see why I need a cold plunge, man. It is hot. I am dripping sweat. What, buddy? He's over here having fun. Hey, I do want to take a quick second to highlight Natural Living. This is my supplement company that I started a few years ago, and it's been doing great. I don't really talk about it a ton because it's kind of its own thing, but I figured I might as well just share it with my friends. Now, I do only ship in the United States of America, so to my friends who are in Canada and elsewhere, I'm sorry, can't help you out with this, but I do want to give all my friends in the United States a free shopping spree to Natural Living. I'm gonna give you a free $20 to spend on anything you wanna try. I highly recommend you try the Ashwagandha Plus with black pepper. This is what me and my wife swear by. We take it before bed every single night and we zonk out. We get some of the best sleep, helps with recovery. Ashwagandha is amazing, but we have a ton of amazing supplements. I want you guys to just check it out. So I'm gonna post that link below. Check it out for me. It helps support me and helps me create content and it's just awesome to see that company growing. So thank you guys for the support. Let's get back to this build. All right, so now we got everything set up. We're going to Connect our tips right here. This is the end. So we're gonna just kind of screw it on there, get it there so we know where it's gonna be. Top of the chiller, once again, it's the Active Aqua Chiller. It's a lot of different options out there, but I always recommend this one because it's been super bulletproof for me. We're gonna kind of eyeball this. We want it coming out of the tip there. Kind of same thing, a little bit of a loop. Might give myself a little extra. So now we've got our hose. We are going to connect it. All right, we're in the final countdown. It's like a race car. It's like a Hot Wheels track. All right. You can have it. So just to recap, the water is going to come out of the bottom of the barrel through a strainer, go through this loop-de-loop -loop into the inline pump. It's going to go up this tubing. Woo! Go into the this. end part. It's going to go up this and then it's That's right. Go up this. Into the end part of the chiller. It's going to go through the chiller and get cold. Then it's going to come out the out around this little roundabout and back into our barrel. So let's fill this thing up and let's see how it goes. All right, so we're filling it up. One thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your hose and you're gonna wanna put it in the top hole. It's gonna force water through all of your pipes and make sure that there's water filling up your inline pump. And that's something you're gonna wanna do before you turn this thing on. So right now the water line is, uh, is over the bottom. So I'm gonna turn it on just so I can make sure that everything is working before I fill it up. It's like a Hot Wheel City, isn't it? All right, moment of truth. Let's turn this thing on. And we're working. It's working, bud. Water is coming out at a rapid pace. That's what I like about using the one-inch tubing. So we're gonna let this thing chill us down. I might end up trimming some of these tubes. This is not exactly how I wanted it to look, but cool thing is now that we know how it works and we've got it all set up, we can make those adjustments. All right, quick tutorial on the active aqua chiller and how it works. You press the set button, you can set it all the way down to 39 degrees. It goes all the way up to, I believe, 70, but you're not gonna wanna do that. 
I like 44. 44 is my favorite sound. So we're gonna do that. I leave boost on 24 seven, and this is the current temperature that's flowing through. So my hose water is 86 degrees right now. So one thing I noticed is you don't really need those hose clamps if you're using this tubing. This tubing has like no give to it. It was very hard to even get it that far on the tips here. So I'm gonna, I think I said this already, but I'm gonna say it again. I think I'm gonna post a link to the regular black tubing that I've used in the past, that stuff right there, because it's so much easier, so much more pliable. You will need hose clamps for that, but just a little bit easier to, to work with. <laughs> Is it cold, Wyatt? No. Not yet, no. but it's working, yep. so that's cool.